Welcome everyone, this is Dina from Mark's Group Live, happy to be reviewing with you how to manage sales and purchase orders across both Zoho Inventory and Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the main points we're going to be talking about today. First, in order to, you, to see sales and purchase orders across both Zoho CRM and Zoho Inventory, they need to be integrated, and I will show you how to do that shortly. Next, you will not be able to use the sales order module native to Zoho CRM, but I'll show you what you should use instead. And then with the integration, changes to the sales and purchase orders can be viewed in both products in real time. Let's go look into the systems and show you what, what I mean. So this is Zoho Inventory, but if we go first into Zoho CRM, and at the top right we choose the uh, Tools, and then we go down to Marketplace and choose Zoho, you can see here is where you can integrate or manage any of the integrations that you have with the Zoho products. So the one that's important here for us is called Zoho Finance Suite, and this will uh, tie together Zoho Books, Zoho Expense, Zoho Subscriptions, and Zoho Inventory with CRM. So if we click into Manage, and if it, if it wasn't set up, it would say Set Up instead. And then, as I mentioned, um, here you can see the finance modules, and um, you can enable them. The bottom one, the fourth one down, is, is Zoho Inventory, and that would include products, stock updates, sales orders, packages, shipments, invoices, and purchase orders. And then you can... Um, choose to how you sync the information between the two systems and you can either sync it directly, you can um, make it active, etc. So once you do this, if we're in a home, we want to make sure that if you go and look at all of the different modules available in CRM, the first thing you would think is that you would go to sales orders or to purchase orders and you would just enter what you need here and it would integrate. But that is not the case. What you want to do is work through the module called Zoho Finance. And when you do this, you can see the white bar under the green bar has sales orders and shows you sales orders, invoices, purchase orders, and estimates. And these are all the, the these are going to be the specific um, line, uh, items that will integrate into the Zoho Finance products, including inventory. So here you can see in here we have some sales orders, and you can see we have um, one, two, and three here. So if we go into inventory, Zoho Inventory, and we go to sales orders, you can see that we have those same sales orders here as well. So you can see there's sales orders here, but if we were to go back to the sales orders that are native to CRM, these are not included here and these don't even have sales order numbers. So again, we're going to go back to Zoho Finance and that is where we're going to see the linkages between Zoho CRM and Zoho Inventory. So here, let's say we made a change to um, the sales order, sales order three, and let's say our plan was to convert it to an uh, invoice. We can now see this is invoice number 22, and we can save it. And if we go to our invoices, we could see that we now have 22 here. Now if we go into Zoho Inventory, and we go into invoices, we can see 22 here as well. So, and then the sales order is still appearing here, but it shows as invoiced, and here we are in Zoho Inventory, seeing the changes that we did to Zoho CRM. And the same is the case with the purchase orders. So again, if we were going to, um, well, let's, you know what, let's show you, let's create a new purchase order. So the vendor name, we're gonna select a vendor name. Uh, John's car parts. We can see this is going to be purchase order number four. Let's put an item in here. We'll just do a widget. And if we go ahead and save this, 
So you can see now we're in Zoho uh, CRM and we just created purchase order 0004. So now if we go into Zoho inventory and we go to purchase orders, you can see that 0004 is now showing up here. So again, what you can do is by going into the Zoho Finance within Zoho CRM, that's where you can work on the sales orders or the purchase orders that you will then be able to see in Zoho Inventory. So just to, to reiterate the key takeaways we had, as I showed you, you need to integrate Zoho CRM and Zoho Inventory to see the sales and purchase orders in both products. And as I showed you, you cannot use the Zoho Orders module that's native to Zoho CRM, but instead you need to use the Zoho Finance Suite, and then you will be able to use the, Zoho, the sales orders um, and purchase orders in there. And then as we also looked at with this integration, any changes we made to the sales and purchase orders can be viewed in both products in real time. I hope you enjoyed this video and please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If, if you have any suggestions for other classes or questions you have about Zoho, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.